Okay. Anybody who knows me knows that when I play paintball, I take stuff to the extreme. Um, I outfitted my, my marker and my gun, which is typically a Project Salvo. I armed it with the laser sighting. It also has the red dot. Uh, you can't see it here, but uh, I got you on red dot here. Um, I outfitted it with a flashlight uh, that goes along with the red dot. And just a lot, of, a, a lot of little toys and gadgets that I like to put on the stuff. Because the scenario that I want to play, it really doesn't exist yet. I want to play something akin to a video game like um, Halo. Okay? I think that people should dress with what's available, but make it a more futuristic look to it. And play in scenario grounds that are more, I don't know, apocalyptic or in the world or otherworldly type uh, environments. So in keeping with what I'm doing to my marker, which also this I'm going to replace with this, which is a flashlight as well, but it's also a video camera so that I can have a first person shooter point of view while I'm playing and record what I'm doing. Okay, you know. I have the tripod, I have the extra barrel, the long range barrel, so I'm really, I'm really preparing my marker to be an all-terrain kind of uh, weapon, alright? I have the, the, the electronic trigger installed, I did it myself, and of course I put in the cyclone feed. This is the box for the uh, flashlight cam. You know, that's what this is. If you can see that, it's a flashlight cam. And it mounts onto like the dirt bike, so the handlebars of your bike, but I'm going to put it on my marker. Okay, and in keeping with that, I got this Phantom Save Face Paintball Face Guard, Shield Mask, whatever you want to call it. Um, I replaced the original shield with a blackout tent in keeping with the futuristic look because to me it just looks really futuristic and more more menacing if I if I if I use the um, the dark tent. But again, since I'm going high tech on my marker with the little accoutrements and little add-ons, I decided to do something, just test it, just to see what it looks like with my, uh, with my mask. And what I did was I took some LEDs that I found in an uh, old um, pair of novelty glasses. And on Halloween, I actually wore the glasses beneath my helmet. And it gave me the idea to integrate the lights into the actual mask. Now, this is not how I, I, I see it ending up. I would like it to do a different pattern or, or so and actually this this mask is like tailor made for it because it has vents in it that you can almost fit exactly LED lights into the uh, openings without any space uh, being needed or any drills or holes or anything. Just smoothly goes in. That's how this went in. Okay. This also has a switch on it and I'm going to show you this is what it looks like when I turn it on. Okay? And it has several little patterns that it does. I don't want to come out of focus, but it has several patterns that it does. And I can play in it. It's very comfortable. It doesn't it doesn't take up any space because the LEDs are practically flat, but they also fit into a hole so that there's really no space requirement for them. It's powered by uh, three watch size batteries. And again, when I put it on, you know, there's no difference. And it has a switch inside where I can turn it off. Okay. Now, what I want to do is possibly have something running down the sides or have it like a uh, equalizer. When I speak, it lights up or go scroll side to side like kit. 
either way. It's an idea, but but it, as you can see, it's 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 in fitting with. And I want to have the LEDs a different color too, maybe a, a white or a, a yellow. You know, something not as happy looking as that. Okay, um, but I, I I'll get it. But this is just a test to see how it will look, and I think that it'll work very well. And that's all I got.